Good morning, guys. Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina. We've got another beautiful morning view inside John's Pass here at Hubbard's Marina as the Florida fisherman heads offshore to do some five-hour half-day fishing. It is a beautiful, sunny, crystal clear blue sky morning here inside John's Pass as we head offshore. We are getting ready for our live stream show tonight. We wanted to tell you guys a little bit more about what the fishing and the weather is like right now. This week we have a beautiful week of weather looking spectacular wind and wave wise over the course of the next four to five days or really five to six days it looks like this weekend we might get some adverse weather with our first uh, it's technically our second but it'll be our first kind of more strong cold front looks like that cold front's going to move through there sometime friday afternoon early afternoon to friday night we're going to start feeling those cold front effects uh, as that wind picks up and the wave picks, waves pick up as that frontal boundary moves through the area, which should dry us out a little bit, take away some of that humidity. It won't cool us down too much. It's not that extreme of a cold front, but it will definitely dry us up and make it a little bit cooler, which is going to be a welcome change. Uh, but it will bring with it a little bit of adverse weather conditions. Now, it's still early. We're still a long way off from the weekend, so that weather forecast could change. But at this time, that's what it's looking like. Gorgeous today through Thursday, and really it looks gorgeous through Friday morning. Uh, and then it gets a little adverse there through the weekend, at least, again, how it's looking now. So you have to stay tuned to our videos. We'll keep you up to date with what's going on weather-wise. As far as fishing is concerned, big news. Big news on the fishing front. Smokey, our main man, Smokey, the old uh, smoke show, he caught himself the first near shore kingfish of the year that's right the kings are back in town the kings are back in town for their fall run so we're excited about that definitely good news they're gonna make the five hour half day even more exciting as we move into that fall kingfish run season so definitely look forward to more kingfish and more five hour half day action as not only kingfish are going to be back in town, but we're also going to see those hogfish start chewing better too. So we've got hogfish action picking up. We got kingfish back in town near shore. And we've been seeing a lot of black sea bass catching a lot of nice gray snapper, porgies. A little deeper offshore, we're still seeing those scamp grouper. We're seeing mangrove snapper, yellowtail snapper, gag grouper. The 12 hour night snapper this past Friday with Captain Brock. Captain Bobby did very well on mangrove snapper, over 90 keeper mangrove snapper for only around 30 anglers. They did really well on uh, the mangroves, yellowtails, porgies. They caught three keeper gags. So the 12 hour night snapper's going well. Five hour half days catching fish, 10 hour all days crushing the lanes, catching some nice mangrove snapper. You've got a shot at those kingfish now, which is huge news. Deeper offshore, we've got uh, those wahoo are around, tuna's picking up out there, and uh, always have chance for scamp, gags, mangroves, yellowtails, and many, many more. So get out here on the water, enjoy this gorgeous week of drier conditions and uh, beautiful blue skies, and then also this weekend, finally going to cool down a little bit, and uh, fall has fallen, folks. Kings are back. So in Florida, we don't have seasons of uh, changing leaves or anything like that, but we do have kingfish showing back up. So that's exciting. Hopefully you can join us tonight for our live stream show. If you missed the Real Animals radio show yesterday, you can always watch the rerun live on our Facebook page. Also, don't forget, every Friday morning we've got our Fox 13 News segment and we've got uh, Saturday mornings, our Real Animals radio show. So hopefully you can join us for some of those things. We've got fishing seminars coming up, so stay tuned for our live show tonight. We'll talk more about that. And uh, big news coming this week, huge, 
huge news coming this week. Groundbreaking news coming this week. No, I won't tell you what it is. Not even the supporters are going to know. They're going to know first, but no one can know yet. It's going to be huge. Huge, Tampa. You guys are going to freak out when you hear this news coming this week. Stay tuned. Don't forget, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too darn busy. Don't forget to watch the videos this week because you guys are going to get your minds blown. Y'all have a good day. Happy Sunday.